So, spending a lot of time at your desk working on the laptop can cause not only stiff neck and shoulders, but also strains our eyes. So I thought I'd just share with you a very simple little routine today, along with my helper here, if you can see him, that will help reduce eye strain, also help to strengthen our eye muscles. We tend to forget that uh, we have muscles for our eyes as well. So we need to, to work those muscles for our eyes. So this will help release, reduce eye strain, help strengthen your eyes, and also release tension in your neck and shoulders. So I call it yoga at your desk because you can do it sitting at your desk at any point. First of all, just make sure good posture. One of the reasons we get neck and shoulder ache is because we sit in a strange position and we haven't got very good posture. So think of lifting up nice and tall, visualize your spine, and imagine extending your tailbone down towards the floor so it's not tucked under and all tilted back. And imagine you've got a hook on the crown of your head and it's attached to the ceiling, stretching you up. So imagine lengthening the spine. When we slouch, we compress all the organs and we cause tension in the body. So sit up nice and tall. Draw your belly button in as if you're trying to do it with tight pair of trousers. And this will also make it harder for you to slouch and it acts as a kind of corset to support you. So work on the shoulders to start with. So you're just going to bring the shoulders up, forward, down and back. So draw as big circles as you can, taking nice deep breaths as you do. So breathing as deeply as you can. Another thing we tend to do when we're concentrating is we don't breathe properly. We breathe very shallowly. So breathing in and out through your nose. These are just very simple movements. They might sound a bit creaky and a bit clunky to start with, but you might start to feel it loosening up. Still make sure you're keeping your tummy pulled in though. So sitting up nice and tall, then go round the other way. Up, back and down. And imagine you're trying to squeeze a walnut between your shoulder blades as you roll the shoulders back. Still making sure you're not slouching down into the chair. Big circles as big as you can. Yeah, release it. Inhale, shrug the shoulders up. Exhale, just let them drop. So inhale, shrug. Exhale, literally let them drop. In and out. In and out. So as you shrug them up, squeeze as tightly as you can. And just literally let them drop down. You can breathe out through the nose or the mouth, whatever feels good for you. This also helps to work on your thyroid gland, so it can help boost your energy levels as well. And then doing alternate shoulders. Inhale, left shoulder, exhale, right shoulder. Allow your ribs to move as you do that. So we're also starting to move the spine a little bit as well. We need to move the spine in all directions. Still keeping your tummy pulled in, in, out. And you might start to feel muscle tension or what you feel is muscle tension, but that could be just blocked energy that we need to get rid of. So keep it up just a few more seconds, even if you're thinking, oh, it's actually starting to hurt now, Donna. Keep it going. Inhale, shrug both shoulders, hold it, tense your arms as well, squeeze as tight as you can. And exhale, let it drop. Good. Inhale, shrug the shoulders, tense your arms, really feel tension. I know it may seem counterintuitive. Exhale, let it drop once more. Inhale, squeeze as tightly as you can. And exhale, let it drop. And just lengthen through your fingertips. Inhale, rotate the arms, and you should feel your chest opening and your shoulder blades squeezing together. And exhale, rotate the arms the other way. Feel a stretch across the upper back. So inhale, rotate the arms, turn them as far as you can. Squeeze that walnut between your shoulder blades. Exhale, rotate them the other way. And inhale, bring the palms towards me. Exhale, slide your shoulder blades down as far as you can. Still keeping the palms towards me, so the chest is nice and open. Tummy in, take your breath in. 
As you breathe out, just simply turn your head round to one side. Inhale, center. Exhale, round the other side. And just do that a couple of times. Always keep in mind, it's not a competition to see how far you turn. So don't worry if it feels like you're not turning very far to start with. Just try to keep the tummy in, shoulders relaxed. And just notice as well if there's any tension, any additional pain or discomfort as you turn your head. And whether one side feels different to the other in any way. We often get out of balance. It's one of the reasons for doing yoga. So we get into balance, we balance ourselves a little bit more. So just do that one more each side. Let's exhale, turn. Inhale, center. And we'll exhale around the other way. And inhale, center. Still keeping the shoulders back and down. Allow your chin to drop to your chest. And just take a breath here. Now, as you relax your head, you should feel the stretch all along the spine, all along the connective tissue along the spine, the muscles alongside the spine. Might feel a little bit tight to start with. That's okay. That's why we're here. That's why we're doing these exercises. So from here, just roll your right ear towards your right shoulder. And roll it back to your chest. And roll the left ear towards the left shoulder. And back to your chest. And inhale, ear to shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest. Make sure you're still holding your tummy in. And we keep the arms extended. That also helps us to keep a nice tall spine and to keep the shoulders relaxed because the only thing that should be moving here is your head and to start with it might feel really tight and tense and you can go slower if you need to but after a couple of repetitions it should hopefully start to feel a little bit easier So you bring your chin to your chest, you're going to stay here, keep that nice tall spine. So visualize a nice tall spine, apart from your chin dropping in. Interlink your hands and rest your hands on the base of your skull. So your thumbs are touching your neck, the little hollows, the base of your skull at the top of your neck. Then completely relax your arms. So the weight of the arms are stretching out your neck. Now you might notice that really increases a stretch. So if it feels uncomfortable, just check you haven't tensed against that discomfort. So again, still sitting up nice and tall, so we're not tipping forward, we're not rounding over. It's just literally the chin towards the chest. So you can inhale, press the elbows wide, as wide as you can, so you get a bit of a stretch on the front of the body. And as you breathe out, completely relax the arms, so it's the weight of the arms that draws your chin towards your chest. So inhale, lift and open, press the elbows wide, keep that tummy in. Exhale, relax the arms. And just do that a few more times. I want you to imagine you're sat with your back pressed against the wall because the tendency is to lean forward and round over. We don't want to do that. And especially as these muscles are often very tight, so it might be mildly uncomfortable to start with. So just breathe through it. And know that that's why we're doing these exercises. And don't worry if your head doesn't come as far forward as mine, that's fine. We just start from where we are. And this time, inhale, lift the elbows wide. And exhale, imagine lifting one elbow up to the ceiling. Stretch out your side waist, but keep the elbows pressed back. And inhale, think of using your tummy muscles to come up. Exhale, lift the other elbow up. So it's really good to stretch the spine sideways as well. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, completely relax the arms. Again, the weight of the arms draws the chin towards the chest. So inhale, lift and open, press the elbows back. Exhale, stretch one elbow up to the ceiling. Stay plugged in through your sit bones. Inhale, lift. And exhale, over the other side. Oh, that feels good. Inhale up, exhale, relax the arms. Still keeping your spine pressed against your imaginary wall. And just give me one more round. Inhale, press the elbows back. Exhale, lift the elbow up to the ceiling. Inhale up, 
and exhale over the other side. Breathe in, head up. Again, exhale, relax the arms. Just stay here, take two more breaths. Just check you're not tensing your shoulders. Don't feel that stretch all along your spine. One more nice deep breath in, pull that tummy in. And exhale, relax the head even more. Gently release your arms and slowly float your head back up. And it should feel a little bit less tight and tense around your shoulders. I'm just going to work also on your neck, but also on your uh, thyroid, which helps boost your energy level. It's a little kundalini yoga exercise. So just bring your thumbs and index fingers together. Bring your hands towards your shoulders. Look to your left, breathe in. As you breathe out, look to your right, open the arms out to the side. So inhale left, bend the elbows, exhale right, straighten them. And if you can, go at a decent pace. In, out, in, out. Breathing in and out through the nose, elbows stay nice and high. So again, this activates your thyroid, which will wake you up a little bit if you're struggling for energy, as well as strengthening your neck muscles and helping to realign your neck. So the breath is very short and light, like sniffing, but on that exhale, pull your tummy in towards your spine. Three, two, one, release, relax the arms, back to the arms, a bit of shake. Fantastic. I'm just going to work on our eyes a little bit. So what I need to do, I just want you to clasp your hands, have your thumbs together, extend your arms out, relax your shoulders. Now focus your eyes, your eye gaze on your thumbs and keep your Focus on your thumbs as you start to bring them in towards you. Now try and focus on them as much as you can. At some point, it'll look like you've got four thumbs. And imagine bringing the thumbs towards the tip of your nose, as if you're trying to focus on the tip of your nose. And then again, following the thumbs away from you. So you're keeping your head still. You're just moving your thumbs, but trying to focus on your thumbs. So it says you bring them closer, you'll get a bit blurred, but you're focusing on the tip of your nose. And then slowly take them away again. Now, still keeping the arms extended, I want you to focus on your thumbs so that as you're focusing on your thumbs, everything outside of your thumbs seems a little bit blurry. And then pick a point about two foot in front of your thumbs. So as you look at something two feet in front of your thumbs, your thumbs become blurry. And then just change the focus. So bring it back to your thumbs, bring those into vision. Even if you need glasses and it's not quite clear, don't worry. And then look at the point two feet away from you. And just bring it forward and back to that. So to your thumbs and two feet in front of you. To your thumbs, two feet in front of you. So you're making the eyes focus on close to you and further away. Then under your hands, just bring your knuckles together, keeping your head still, you're going to slowly take the right thumb out to the side and you're going to try and follow it with your eyes. So you're taking it out to the side, follow it with your eyes, so your eyes are looking right to the right and go as far as you can until you can no longer see it out of your peripheral vision. But you should be able to feel your eye muscles working. And then slowly following it back again. So again, your head is staying still. You're just focusing your eye gaze on your thumb. Let me do the same the other side. So just slowly following it out. Again, keep your head still. Resist the urge to turn your head. So obviously at one point you'll see it with both eyes and then it'll just be your left eye. And then again, see how far you can see, how good your peripheral vision is. You can feel your eye muscles working. 
and then following it back again. And you can do these kind of exercises several times over. You can do that a couple of times each side. Now relax your arms, keeping your head totally still. What you're gonna do is look up. Imagine you're trying to look right above your head and then look to the right as far as you can. Imagine you're really trying to look right around behind you. Again, you'll feel the eye muscles working. Then look down. Imagine you're trying to see here. We've got a blind spot below our nose, but imagine you're trying to see that. And then look to the left again as far as you can. See how far around you can see. And then look up again. And just go back the other way. So looking to the left, see how far you can see in your peripheral vision. So I can see back here somewhere, then down towards the floor as if you're trying to look under your nose. Then as far to the right as you can. Again, you should feel your eye muscles working. Then up. And bring your eyes back and I want you to flutter your eyelashes, flutter your eyelashes, flutter your eyelids as fast as you can. Remember, our eyelids are muscles as well. So flutter, 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 flutter as fast as you can. Literally keep going, keep breathing, flutter, 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 flutter. Then we tend to forget that we have muscles on our face as well. Keep going another 10 seconds. It might be remarkably hard work because we're not used to exercising our eyelids. Ah, release. And just rub your hands together. Rub, 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 rub. Until you create a nice lot of heat in your hands, a lot of heat and a lot of energy. Then close your eyes and just place your hands gently over your eyes. So just feel that heat, that energy going into your eyes. It's like giving them a bit of a refresh. Again, you can hold this as long as you like, as long as you need to. And when you're done, just release and remove your hands. And again, still exercising the eyes and kind of waking off a bit. As you breathe in, I want you to tense your eyes, squeeze your eyes shut as tightly as you can. Then as you open them, imagine you're really surprised. Really surprised! And open the eyes as wide as you can. Imagine trying to and reach your forehead with your hairline with your eyebrows. So inhale, squeeze the eyes tight as tightly as you can. Then open your eyes as wide as you can. Again, feel those muscles in your forehead and your eyes working. Inhale, squeeze tightly. Then open them, exhale, surprise. And once more, inhale, squeeze. Then exhale, open the eyes as wide as you can. Awesome. Then just take one or two fingers and into your temple. So you'll find the bony occipital ridge, the bony bit around your eye. And just behind that, you'll find like a little bit you'll slip into. And using either one or two fingers, just gently doing little circles. Just apply as much pressure as feels right for you. So not too much pressure. We're trying to release tension, not create more. And just doing nice little circles. This is an acupressure point that a lot of us tend to instinctively use and then just go around the other way circle around the other way and then just taking one or two fingers standing at the bridge of your nose and just press up and then stretch out so just press up and stretch out as if you're stretching out your forehead which you are so press up and stretch out once more press up and stretch out fantastic and another exercise kind of fun exercise to release tension in the jaw because i don't know about you but when i'm concentrating when i'm stressed i tend to grip my teeth now you can do the sound effects or not totally up to you when you do go ooh, ah, ooh. You can do it without the sound effects if you want to. As you go, ooh, with the cheek muscles working, as you go, ah, stretch your mouth as wide as you can. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. And this helps release tension in the joint. Make you feel a wally, but who cares? Ooh, ah. Then imagine you've got a giant, giant chewing gum 
And you try to get it more in your mouth. And you can make it more fun by trying to recite the alphabet or something like that. And what that does is it loosens up the muscles in your jaw. We have to relate all the tension in our jaw. And if you're working in an office and you make people laugh, ah, that's all good. And imagine trying to smile, as big cheesy grin as you can, smile, 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 feel those muscles in your cheeks, imagine trying to stretch your lips to your ears, smile, open your eyes as wide as you can, and then imagine you're like a horse, and flubber your lips. already feel a nice warm glow in your face where we've released a lot of tension. And last little stretch for our shoulders, a little exercise for our shoulders. Just come forward if you're on a chair. Let's come towards the edge with our uh, assistant here. Just bring the arms up, relax your shoulders, keep the elbows nice and wide. You can inhale, twist your chest to the left. Exhale to the right. Now as you move, don't move the arms. So you can move them through the chest rather than taking the arms around. So you breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And if you can, go at a good pace. And this also helps to release any knots, any tension <laughs> in the spine. Keep your tummy pulled in. Hold on, dude. And your shoulder blades sliding down away from your ears. Just a couple more seconds. Shh. Inhale, press the elbows back. Exhale, pull the elbows down. Imagine squeezing the elbows in towards each other. Everybody, shh. And bring your hands onto your chair. Take your feet a little bit further forward. Press into your chair. You're going to inhale, tap the tailbone and up, push your hips forward, squeeze your butt, lift your chest. And inhale, lower down. Shake from the side. Now push forward, lift your chest. So opening the chest, stretch in the front of the body. And lower down. So when you drive with your hips, squeezing your butt, but lifting your chest. And lower down. It's good for working your arms as well. Now lift. And exhale, lower. So tuck tailbone under, push hips, squeeze your glutes. And I'm lifting your chest up to the ceiling and lower down. So it tones your butt, strengthens your arms, but also stretches the front of your body. And just do a couple more, really drive up. Ah, lower down once more. Ah, really shake out your arms. Ah. And hopefully you'll feel your, your shoulders, your neck, will feel a little bit looser, less tension in your jaw. Sometimes we don't realise we're holding so much tension until we release it. And then we're like, oh yes, no wonder I had a headache because I was walking around my shoulders with it. So, I hope that was of some use to you, my lovelies. Enjoy the rest of your day.